Hello there friends, this is Angela with Word and Home, back with a really cute little Christmas or winter craft today. You guys bear with me, I know that it's early for Christmas crafts, but I found these most adorable little um, cutouts at Dollar Tree, so I just had to share now. So I'm using a clearance sign from Hobby Lobby, and the first thing I'm doing is I'm just tracing that on the back of a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm using the black buffalo check, also from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just tracing it out with a pencil, and then I'm just cutting that out with my scissors. Very simple step. And then once our paper's cut out, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to um, adhere that to the front of our little clearance sign. We don't need to sand the sign or anything because it will cover perfectly. So I'm just using Mod Podge and I'm going to brush on a uh, fairly thick layer of Mod Podge to cover the entire surface of this little clearance sign. And I am also making sure that I get plenty of Mod Podge on those edges because I am gonna be using the iron-on method here and I want to make sure that those adhere nicely. So what I'm doing is I'm just brushing it on and then I'm going to let it air dry. Now you can use the heat tool to dry it if you would like, but I just brushed on that nice thick coat, just walked away and then allowed it to dry and it dries fairly quickly. And again, just make sure you pay special attention to those edges so that you have plenty of Mod Podge there for the iron to reactivate and make that attach well. Okay, so now you can see it's dry. And so I'm just laying my piece of scrapbook paper on top, making sure that all my edges are covered. And so I had to reposition it um, a couple of times here to make sure, but I wanted to be sure. And then I just took that Reynolds Wrap parchment paper and laid it on top and then used my iron to set it. And I did, again, I played, paid close attention to those edges. Now any edges that were hanging off, um, I'm just taking a sanding block and I'm just sanding those. And when I sand those, uh, that extra paper will just kind of peel off of there. And also, it just gives a nice distressed look. Um, you don't absolutely could skip this step if you wanted to. Now I'm going to paint those cute little um, mugs. And I am painting the mug itself with an acrylic red. And the color is True Red, and this is Anita's. And so I'm painting the front and the edges of this nicely. I'm gonna dry it. And then these little mugs also have the cutouts um, look like they already have foam on top. And so for that, I'm using some spackling. Now I'm using, it's called flexible spackling, but I think any kind of spackling would work. And what I did was I mixed some of this spackling in a bowl, and then I just mixed some white acrylic paint with it just a little bit to give it a little bit creamier texture. And then I just used my paintbrush and I applied it in a nice thick coat of it. And then I sprinkled some glitter on. It's really simple, but that spackling gave it a nice touch where it actually looks like cream on the top of your hot cocoa. Now here I'm taking some Baker's twine and just some strips, red strips of material. This material came from Walmart, probably the fat quarter section. Um, and it's just red and I cut small strips and then I'm just looping it through on itself and tying that kind of like a slip knot. And then I'm just trimming the ends off. Okay, so you could do any length that you want. I didn't, it will be on the top of my sign, so I didn't want it to hang down too far and cover up the sign itself. So I'm adding five pieces of material here. I just trimmed them up and we're just gonna set those aside. Now, um, I wanted to put hot cocoa on my sign, and so I have some chipboard letters that I picked up, and you always pick these up if you see them on clearance because they're perfect for um, a little DIY like this. And then I just painted those all with some white chalk paint. While those are drying, um, I found one snowflake, and this did come from Dollar Tree. And I'm just putting it on my center mug. If you had three, these would be adorable on all three mugs. But again, I just had one, so I put it in the center. And I had already um, painted it and added glitter to that snowflake previously. Now I'm just using some hot glue. And I'm hot gluing all three of my little mugs on the bottom of the sign. You could use craft glue if you preferred. I'm just using um, hot glue. I will say that when you use craft glue, it allows you to position them, gives you a little more time. And that's, I'm using the craft glue on my letters here because I'm kind of rounding my hot cocoa. 
and so I knew that would take just a little bit of me um, eyeballing that and getting my letters just right so I did choose to um, use craft glue here because it's a little more flexible and gives me a little bit more time to move those around because of course it takes longer to set up so once I get my hot cocoa all on there and get all those just positioned just right then I'll be able to move on to the last step and this craft glue that I'm using also came from Walmart okay now that those are all on there let's move on let's attach that little Baker's twine and I'm just going to use hot glue on each corner and I'm going to attach I'm only attaching the ends of the Baker's twine here and that way the center can hang loose and look just like a little banner hanging here very simple um, very cute you don't have to use red material if you wanted more color or something different you could uh, use any kind of material you wanted same thing with the scrapbook paper and the possibilities are just endless with this one guys so it's all finished i hope that you enjoyed um please visit wordandhome.com for more ideas